Hello, my name is Daniel and I'm learning to love myself. In becoming clean and sober for me, it became obvious, not in the beginning, but after a long time, many years, that I needed a parent. First of all, my biological father left me years ago and has no interest in uh, being in my life. His role as a father was up the day I was 18, but he, in my heart, will always be my father. My mother, uh, same there. Uh, her role as a mother ended years ago. I've lived in many different countries and moved out when I was young, so I've learned to take care of myself. But the invisible umbilical cord to her and my father had always been there. I always tried to impress my father, my bi biological father, by trying to work really hard being a perfectionist as an artist and musician and a filmmaker, I wanted to show him how good I could be to get his approval. And in terms of my mother, I would never cut the cord because I could always return to her for safety. I would go out in the world, live on my own, and come back when I failed, and she would pick me up, kind of. And that went on for many years. In a way, she became codependent on my addiction and she has come to learn this and learning now in life for her sake, which is a great adventure and um, a great realization for her in itself. We're healing on both ends, uh, me and her. So I needed to cut the cord between both of them. And what was there to fill the void? Well, there'd always been drugs sex, relationship, work, money, whatever. And I've come to like the petals of a, a flower. I picked every single one of those off and I was left with nothing. Like, all right, so what else? So I come to understand in reading the Bible and hearing father, 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 like where's the mother? Well, for me, I've, I think earth is mother. The flesh, this body, is the mother and the spirit is the father. So, how do people hear God speaking to them? I don't know. For me, through spirit. There is this voice inside of me that always has the answers, always knows what's best for me, but I refuse to listen to it for many, many years. And now that all of the buzz and the surrounding noises has kind of faded, the signal is more clear and I can listen to it. And I've come to understand that this is now my parent. My sometimes strict and harsh parent, but also very just and loving. So I'm learning to listen to this loving parent inside of me to learn how to love myself. And for me, I, I use Jesus Christ as my father, my loving parent. Why? Well, he had a bunch of good stuff to talk about and to say. And if I listen to that, it's kind of the advice that I believe a loving parent would give me or give to me. And not saying that my parents didn't give me that advice, but I grew up, right? I became an adult. Now it was time for me to leave the nest, so to speak, and cut the cord. What is also included and needed in learning to love myself and becoming independent, listening to my own higher loving parent, inner loving parent, is routine and balance and not overdoing things. I need to set certain times, go to bed at a certain time, get up at the same time to create routine in life. Keep my house in order, clean, meaning this house, this temple, and this house, my physical house. 
before I start going out and trying to clean up the world or fix people or help people, which is not something that I need to do anyway. I think that when the teacher is ready, the, the student will appear, and when the student is ready, the teacher will appear, and we meet, right? I had a friend tell me that after I went to the jungle in Peru, I went from Sweden to Peru into the jungle to find a shaman to work with ayahuasca. He helped me. He would never claim credit for healing, of course, but after he helped me, I went back to Sweden and he told me, my friend told me, you will never ever help another person again. It's like, what, what are you talking about? That's, that's what I want to do. He's like, did that shaman call you? It's like, right on. <laughs> I went and found him and he was there all along waiting and in the exact same way my father was there all along waiting for me to come home and I can now ask him for help and I know that he's there always when I need help. It can be quite challenging and difficult to start listening to that good advice that comes from the inside but what's the alternative? running amok and having my own way, doing whatever I want, thinking there are no consequences. Yeah, I tried that. So it is hard, but sticking to it and every time I do something that I actually listened to the voice, stuck to it, and I just sat in the feeling that was difficult until it passed or completed a task, I do reward myself and that's very important because we have a reward system which is the one that we're abusing with the dopamine and this dope generation of more 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 give me more and what are we saying we really want more dopamine but that's not a natural balanced way of living that's the instant gratification system I want it and I want it now, and I can basically have it now, so give me. And when you get it, there's a short-term reward or release of dopamine. You get a kick and a high, and that fades, and then what? So you go after it again. Instead of receiving that through natural hard work, sex in a relationship, food at certain times for the right reason um, whatever it might be accomplishing a goal a task or something long-term goals then you get the correct amount of dopamine but that's where the greed comes in we want more all the time so for me listening to that parent saying all right man enough but i want to work some more <laughs> it's so much fun it's not hurting anyone yeah it's hurting me my back breaks down if I don't exercise, if I sit too much, if I don't move, if I don't balance things. So yeah, it does hurt me. And then the little child in me goes, I want to do this. I don't want to, you know, whatever, listen to you. So yeah, it can be hard. But again, what's the alternative? I'm learning to love myself. This kid in the photo, it was a small boy being taken care of my parents. They loved me, they nurtured me, and they, you know, they gave me love. And then, as I grow up, I learned that, all right, I have free will. I can do whatever I want. Maybe, I'm not judging them, I'm not blaming them. Maybe what my parents forgot to tell me, really, is that everything has a consequence. I would suffer consequences as a child, of course, and they would sort of punish me, not physically, but I knew that there were consequences. But once they were out of the picture and nobody really around me uh, pointing it out, pointing out what I did wrong, then yeah, um, <laughs> it became chaos. I was a Viking for many, many years. So today I am learning to love myself by listening to my ever-loving parent, Christ Jesus, 
and I have everything to thank him for because I have my life in order again and I do have a life and if this is in one or another way helping you please share it with someone else that might need a loving parent this is one of the hardest things to do becoming independent learning to listen to your own inner voice and not the surroundings or surrounding people so please share it and thank you for watching